This week I've got a great little trick that I use every single day to make sure I'm not missing anything. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I've got a very simple yet cool trick that you can use. Now essentially what it is is while we're gathering all our stuff, we're collecting all our stuff in drafts, we sometimes get interrupted, we sometimes get disrupted by something or somebody else and that means that we're not necessarily processing whatever it is we captured and that can often lead to a problem because we don't know where that actual item is. But there's a really cool trick in drafts that you can use that ensures that you're not missing anything and that's to take advantage of badges. Now badges are those little things that come up on the actual app icon on your home, home, home face that will actually tell you that there's a notification but with drafts what it's doing is telling you that you have an unprocessed note. This week's episode I'm going to show you how to set that up so that it's working for you. Before I do that though if you do get any value from this class, if you do get any value from this video I should say, it's not a class, then please hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would be enormously grateful if you would hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's go straight into drafts now and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that little red badge. Okay, so here I am with my iPhone. So this is my regular to drafts account. So imagine now that I'm on the subway or I'm in a taxi and it's just pulling up and I need to, I go, oh, I need to send Annie her invoice. So I would actually quickly go send Annie uh, invoice. Now the thing is, is if I go, oh, okay, here you go, here's the money, or I've got to get off and change the train and I come out of it. What you'll notice is what appeared there was the badge. Now, if you're anything like me, you hate badges because badges are really bad because they just, to me, say, I've not done something. And the reason why it's a badge is simply because I have a note in there that is unprocessed. I haven't done something with it. So what it really is, because Drafts, remember, is actually a note-taking application, what it's really telling me is that I've got one item in my inbox, which I've got here. So that is what I am trying to avoid. I don't want anything in my inbox because that means I've not processed something. So imagine now that I, collect, I create another task and say, oh yes, uh, um, develop this great idea and I go oh yeah I know that goes to Evernote so blah 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 I can add in the text and send off that to Evernote so bang off it goes to Evernote that's great it's gone so if I come out of it again I've still got an unprocessed note in there and it's still telling me so I can go to inbox I can tap on the note itself and then I can send it off to to Doist now when I come out of uh, drafts that button disappears now, to make sure that you have this setting correctly, what we have to do is we have to go into settings and what you need to do is go into the badge, which is here. And it says badge for show inbox count. So you can actually turn that on or off. I have it on, of course, because I want to know if I've got anything in my inbox at all. Now, you can start going into workspaces, but that's a more advanced feature of Drafts, which we will come to in a future episode, and I will go through that with you. So that's one thing, the first thing you need to do. Another thing that you can do is go into your um, <clears throat> into your action groups, and we can go into, uh, oops, that's not what we wanted to do, cancel that. Uh, what we can do is we can go into the groups and go to manage groups. So basically what we have to do is go into groups, which top right, then we go into manage groups. So what we do is we tap on the square next to the three dots and it brings up all the groups. Click on the bottom right, you'll see manage. Click on that. Now, if we're going to frequent, I'll show you this. You can do this with all of them later. What you want to do is into this advanced section. I have mentioned this before. 
If you have after success do nothing, then it's going to stay in your inbox. So you're always going to get badges. If after success you archive it, then it will come out of your inbox and go into your archive. Now I have mine as trash because I just, once I've dealt with the note, it can disappear. I can send it off wherever it needs to go and it's gone. So I don't need to keep the note around. So I have mine set up for trash and I've got it in all my actual groups is set for trash. So that's what you want to do, either archive or trash. If you have it set up as nothing, then the badge is always going to uh, show up. So there you go. That's one way that you can really make sure that you are processing all the notes and ideas, tasks and anything else that you have in your drafts. You can actually create that that badge button which will tell you that you've got unprocessed notes in your inbox. Okay, hopefully you found this one interesting. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive, productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything and not only that you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0 the book you also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.